don't do it. And I should tell you, there are some fields that get more scrutiny than others. So be especially careful with money-making claims and weight loss claims. Now, I mean, one company got caught using before and after pictures. Well, that's a powerful sales tool in that weight loss field. <laughs> the only catch, they switched the before and after pictures. <laughs> so they found a really buff guy and had him pig out and took pictures of him. And then they had him pig out until he had a really big belly. <laughs> right? Then they switched the order of the pictures. The before picture was actually a buff guy, but they put the pot belly picture of the same guy as the before picture and then made it look like he became buff. So anyway, the reason I'm so skeptical of the government's ability to enforce this, it takes me back to an expose they did in the TV infomercial industry. Not the government didn't do it. Somebody else did it. So they they wanted to see if they could get endorsements from people and just pay for them and get the people to just lie. So they pretended to be an uh a product company that had this pill that would moisturize your skin from the inside. You take a pill and it, it was a moisturizer. So they went to some infomercial producers and they, they said, Hey, we got this pill. We want to do an infomercial about it. And they said, well, do you have any studies on it? And the, the fake producer of the pill said, no, no, we don't. So the producer of the infomercial said, don't worry, we can get them. And, they said, do you have any doctors or anybody that endorses this? And the, the fake producer of the pill said, no. They said, don't worry, we can get those, no problem. <laughs> so they got like the chief dermatologist at some, I think it was St. John's or some, somewhere. You can look it up. It's it's probably still out there. And paid her 5000 bucks to go on camera and say this was one of the best things, this fake pill. By the way, the fake pill was filled with Nestle's Quick. <laughs> All right, <laughs> powder. <laughs> so she went on camera and said, this is the best thing ever. I can't believe it. And she was a chief dermatologist at a major hospital. 5000 bucks they paid her to ruin her credibility and reputation. So you got to be careful about this. So, so, so when the government couldn't really control the relatively small infomercial industry, and now they want to take on the entire internet. <laughs> That's why I'm very skeptical. Uh, again, I give them an A for good intentions, but an F for reality. All right. So now that I've scared you into thinking the FTC is going to come after you, <laughs> let's talk about testimonials. You basically have three types. Written, that's the least powerful, but you, it's the easiest to get. Audio, and you don't see as many of them, but I'm going to give you some cool things about that. And video, which is the most powerful, and I'm going to give you two really cool techniques there. All right, so let's talk about written. They're the easiest to get. You can get them even in email. Now, if it's an unsolicited uh, email that something nice uh, was said about you or one of your products, you immediately respond. And this is what I do. And after thanking them for the kind words, I immediately ask, May I use this for promotional purposes? And virtually everybody says yes. Now, very seldom do you get turned down, but even if you do get turned down, let's say for privacy reasons, I might still use the testimonial and say something like name changed for privacy reasons, all right? Now, if the testimonial would reveal who gave it, even with their name changed, I would honor their request and not use it or I might change it slightly to take out the part that would reveal their identity. Now, wait a minute, Tom. I thought you were Mr. Integrity. How can you justify changing someone's testimony? Well, myself and millions of other marketers routinely and ethically change testimonials. As long as you are not changing the essence of what was said, you're okay. I mean, I, can't, I all the time fix typos or misspellings or poor grammar. And that actually makes the person giving the testimonial look better. Okay, now here's a tip. If you want to get more testimonials from more important people, pre-write several of them and ask them to either approve it or 